Hello, this is the Bacteria Lab, and before you do this lab, I want to give you a quick walkthrough as to how to do a few, a few of the activities in the lab. So, let's go ahead and open up the lab manual, and we're going to read down through the lab. There's a lot of information that we need in this background information uh, because we're going to follow, we're going to follow this procedure of staining the bacteria and running the gram stain uh, process. So read through this very carefully and when you uh, do the gram stain you're going to have the bacteri bacteria on the slide and you're going to start with fixation. Fixation is where you heat the slide uh, slightly and this uh, causes the bacteria to dry, dry and to adhere to the surface of the slide. Now if you heat excessively of course you'll fry the bacteria to a crisp. So you want to follow the directions on the heating process. Then we're going to stain with crystal violet, wash the excess off with water, stain with iodine, wash the excess off with water, then use a decolorizing agent such as uh, ethanol, wash the excess off with water, and then use a counter stain of saffron, safranin. And then this will give us a, a final difference here of the gram positive and gram negative with the gram positive having a purple color the gram negative having a pink color so you notice down here in the photos gram positive comes out with a purple color the gram negative bacteria come out with a pink color okay then it goes through some of the uh, mistakes that you could have in a, when you actually do this procedure in a lab and then we'll go down here and we want to look at classification of the bacteria. So first we're going to classify the bacteria as either gram positive or gram negative. Then we want to classify it by shape, that is it's spherical, coccus, or it's rod shaped, bacillus, or it's spiral shaped, spirochete. Now then the next thing we want to classify the bacteria uh, according to is how the cells are distributed on the slide. Individual cells, they're arranged in sort of random clumps, they're in distinct chains, or they are in tetrads, that is sets of four. Okay, so let's go over to the procedures, and we're gonna follow the instructions very closely on the procedures, and so it's gonna tell us to get the staining pan from the instrument shelf, to get uh, the slide from the container shelf, put that in the staining pan, get the Staphylococcus aureus uh, from the material shelf. Okay. And I don't know why every one of them is labeled as number one. Okay. okay, then we'll need a burner and we'll need to light the burner. So let's get all of our supplies. So instruments now well, there's our staining pan okay here's our slide we'll put that in the staining pan notice when i set it in there the pan kind of glowed and you heard a <laughs> basically it stuck to it that's just the computer's way of doing things then what else do we need staphylococcus aureus so we need that and we need our burner. Uh, it calls it a Bunsen burner. It's actually a gas burner. But lighting the burner. Now, what they tell you to do in the instructions is to click on the knob at the bottom center three times. Well, it's not like double clicking. You don't do it rapidly. So, let's click once. Okay, you notice it turned and we have a flame. Now click it again, it turns, we've got a different color flame, one more time it turns and now we've got that deep blue flame which is a very hot flame. Okay, now we need our, uh, we need our uh, transfer rod. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to set it in the flame and notice how the, the uh, burner was glowing meaning it attached okay and then this was glowing because it's hot now we're going to come over here 
and whoa didn't like that okay so we'll come over here and notice the tube is glowing something's wrong here let's move the tube over here okay so i'm going to come over here uh work that time because i had it so close the the rod was overlaying the uh the burner and both of them were glowing so here we go let's go over here i'll we'll set this on the uh, slide and there we're applying the bacterial culture to the slide now we throw the rod in the trash okay let's go back to our set of directions one more time uh, we've applied the bacteria to the slide now then here we go we want to fix the bacteria on the slide by running the slide through the through the flame two times we don't want to fry this to a crisp so we're just going to bring it up here and bring it through a little bit of heat like that bring it back through a little heat again and then we're going to set it back in the pan okay now we'll go into the staining technique and it gives you directions how to stain and then you're going to follow this table down here so let's go back to our materials let's get our stains okay crystal violet that's the one we'll start with going to take the dropper and over here okay put the crystal violet on there we're going to take the water now the water if i just set it up here computer doesn't like that if i bring the water down here like this computer doesn't like that so i'm going to bring the water down here and i'm going to put that blue line of the water container right on top of the slide and notice my cursor is also on top of the slide now then it washes it off and we're ready for the next stain potassium iodide okay we'll take the dropper Put it over here on the slide, put potassium iodide on there, get the water, wash off the excess. Right now, ready for the ethanol. Ethanol, put over here, and the ethanol doesn't have any color to it, so we don't see it, but we still need to wash it off. So here's the water. Okay, wash off the excess get the last stain which is saffron and you'll move that over here there's the saffron 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 and then you'll wash off the excess okay now we're ready to take a look at this with the microscope so let's get the microscope out here this is the microscope this is the projection magnifier we want the microscope so let's get the microscope, set it down here. We'll put the slide. Oh, that's the whole pan. Okay, so we gotta get hold of it. There's the slide. And I'm gonna set it right up here on the stage, and we ought to hear it attached to the microscope. There it goes. Okay, notice the image is out of focus. So here's our fine focus adjustment, here's our coarse focus adjustment. So we would use the coarse focus adjustment, just roll that. Now if this was a real microscope, we'd also then need to use our fine focus adjustment. But you can see how it changed the image that we have. Okay, that's too small for us to tell anything about it. So I'm gonna click on the objectives, bring it in a little closer. Click the objectives again, bring it in a little closer. One more time and now we've got a pretty good image of it notice if i go again oh okay i can go again so there we go um let's see if we go in closer we can use this zoom right here okay there we go so barely see the uh, see the magnification there on the on the lenses okay so what we want to do now is following our directions 
we're going to come down here and we want to we want to take a snapshot here it is it says save and label the image of your photo uh, in your to your of your photo to your portfolio okay so to get that image go up here to where it says snapshot click that button that says snapshot let's give this a title let's call this s aureus and then uh, tell it OK and we'll save that to our uh, to our portfolio okay snapshot has been saved okay now then let's go back to our procedures here and wants us to do the same thing again with the E. coli okay so I'm going to kind of back off a little bit I'm going to put my slide in the, in the trash. I'm going to put this culture in the trash. Okay. Now, well, didn't like that. Now, in reality, in a lab, you probably would not want to just throw that culture in the trash. You would want to run that culture through an autoclave and kill the bacteria before disposing of it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to back off a little bit here. Well, said it was. Not cooperating. Okay, so let's go back to materials. Here's the other one, E. coli. E. coli and we're going to go through the same procedure with the E. coli. Get another, uh, let's get another slide. Put another slide down here. Okay, so go through that procedure. Now, let's take a quick look at where this uh, portfolio is. Where's your photo? So go down here to this little button, Media Player. Click on that. Okay, it's opening it up, and we want to go to what's this little sheet right here. It says Your Media. Click on that. Now, I've got a bunch of photos in here. You won't have that many, but the one that you just took should be on there so now then you can open that up click on it you can see that and we want to record the characteristics of that is this gram positive or gram negative uh, what would you how would you describe the shape of the bacteria coccus bacillus or spirochete and do these appear to be mainly individual or in clusters well, clusters, chains, or tetrads. And yeah, there are some individuals, but you see some clustering to this as well. Okay, so let's go back now. Let's turn that off. Now, you would never do this in a uh, actual lab because it could really cause some problems, but just for the fun of it, let's take the burning, uh, the burning gas burner and just Put that in the trash can while it's still on fire. It's not going to affect the outcome of your results. Just try it for the fun of it and see what it does. Okay? Okay, thank you and good luck with this lab.